Ethical decision making, choosing between the self and the other. When talking about ethical decision making, one has to be aware that there are two ways of approaching this process. The individualistic approach, or where a person is responsible for his or her own decision making, and consideration is given first to how it affects the self, rather than the other. There is also what might be called the communal approach, or where members of communities are partially responsible for the behavior of their members, and thus make decisions based on that view. Consider the debate about the legalization of drugs. Advocates argue that they have an individual right to do with their body as they please. A more communal approach would ask them to look beyond the individual and reflect on issues of public safety and the potential harm to others. In addition, when the interests of the larger community are included in any debate, solutions can be offered. What kind of drug policies will promote the good of both the individual and the community? It can only lead to a greater understanding of the issue for both sides. Should the self or other come first when making decisions? The conflict between individual and community is not easily reconciled. Anthropologist Colin Turnbull has written about the Mbuti pygmies of the Congo. The Mbuti have long employed nets of twined liana bark to catch their prey, sometimes stretching the nets for 300 feet. As Turnbull came to understand, Mbuti hunts were collective efforts in which each hunter's success belonged to everybody else. But one man, a rugged individualist named Sifu, had other ideas. When no one was looking, Sifu slipped away to set up his own net in front of the others. Word spread among camp members that Sifu had been trying to steal meat from the tribe, and a consensus quickly developed that he should answer for this crime. Sifu defended himself with arguments for individual initiative and personal responsibility. He felt he deserved a better place in the line of nets. The tribe responded that if that were the case, Sifu should leave and never return. The Mbuti have no chiefs. They are a society of equals in which redistribution governs everyone's livelihood. Faced with banishment, a punishment nearly equivalent to a death sentence, Sifu relented. This ended the matter, and members of the group pulled chunks of meat from Sifu's basket. Among the Mbuti, as with most hunter-gatherer societies, equality is a system that enhances individual freedom. Following these ethical rules helps prevent any one individual from taking advantage of others or even dominating the group as a whole because of unequal privileges. However, just as it is in our society, the negotiation between the individual and the group is always a work in progress. There are times when our willingness to consider both the good of the individual and the good of the community still leaves us in a dilemma, and we're forced to decide between competing ethical claims. Affirmative action programs, for example, bring concerns over individual justice into conflict with concerns over social justice. How does one decide? When facing such dilemmas, the weight we assign certain values will sometimes lead us to promote the common good. At other times, our values will lead us to decide on actions that will protect the interests and rights of the individual. But perhaps the greatest challenge in discussions of ethical decision-making is to find ways in which paradigms are designed to promote the interests of both. <laughs>